Welcome back to Superstructures, fellow adventurers. Today, we're taking you on an astonishing journey as we delve deep into the colossal world of container shipping. Join us as we explore the life inside the world's largest container ships ever built, and this is a story you won't want to miss. Container ships are incredibly strong and can withstand powerful winds and waves without sinking. Let's take a look at the Marie Maersk, a triple E-class container ship of which only 31 have been built worldwide. This particular ship is registered at the port of Hellerup in Denmark and operated by a Danish shipping company. These massive vessels are impressive in size and features. Each of the 31 ships was sold for $190 million and measures 1,312 feet in length, 193 feet in width, and stands at a towering height of 240 feet. The ease in the class name represents economy of scale, environmentally improved, and energy efficient. Standing on the ship's deck, you'd be about 200 feet above the water surface. The number of containers in this ship is mind-boggling. If you were to line them up on a train, it would stretch for 70 miles. At full capacity, the ship weighs approximately 250,000 tons, with most of the weight attributed to the containers themselves. The ship itself weighs only 63,000 tons. An interesting fact about these container ships is that they lack a traditional deck, allowing them to be loaded with thousands of containers. However, this design poses some challenges when it comes to durability. The Mary Merce can carry 24 columns of containers across its length, with each column having 23 containers wide. Thanks to its depth, each column is an astonishing 21 containers stacked on top of each other. Let's take a glimpse inside the container ship, 33 feet below sea level. Workers on board need to navigate very steep metal stairs to reach the ship's floor. This lower part of the ship remains hidden from the view above, making it a mysterious and unseen world. These ships are of such immense size that being inside one feels like stepping into another realm. The sheer scale has even led some crew members to be a bit superstitious, feeling uncomfortable when left alone in the belly of the vessel. One crucial feature of the container ship is the torsion box, a reinforced metal rim that encircles the entire ship, much like the rim on a plastic cup strengthens its structure. This ocean box enhances the ship's structural integrity, and interestingly, the inside of this ginormous rim has been transformed into a walk-in corridor for the crew members on board. Contrary to what you might think, these massive container ships don't require a large crew to operate. Typically, they only need around 25 people on board. These crew members mainly stay on the bridge and seldom venture into the ship's hull, where the containers are stored. The bridge itself is quite small, occupying only one-sixth of the ship's upper surface, while the rest of the space is dedicated to accommodating the large containers. Although it's uncommon, some ships come equipped with their own cranes for loading and unloading containers. However, most rely on the cranes at the destination port for these operations. The crew members work in four-hour shifts, ensuring that there are always active personnel on duty at all times, regardless of the hour. Their duties mainly involve operating and maintaining the ship's machinery, navigating the seas, and taking care of tasks like cooking and cleaning the bridge. Unlike giant aircraft carriers, container ships have smaller galleys and compact mess decks to cater to their crew members. The work on these ships is demanding and time schedules are tight leaving little opportunity for workers to enjoy leisurely days gazing at the ocean or the sun. Due to the long cargo missions, sailors are deployed at sea for extended periods, typically ranging from three to six months. During this time, they are unable to see their families or explore the cities they dock in. The loading and unloading of cargo and container ships happen swiftly, usually within 24 to 48 hours, and they quickly depart major ports, leaving sailors with limited time to enjoy city life. Despite the challenges, most cargo ship workers earn a six-figure salary and get to spend about six months of the year at home. These cargo ships carry valuable goods and containers, worth millions of dollars. Therefore, the stakes are high, and if a ship were to sink, all that potential profit could be lost at the bottom of the sea. Unfortunately, the risk of fire is also present as these containers hold various products made from different materials. As a result, cargo ships catching fire is not an uncommon occurrence, and fires can spread rapidly, consuming the goods stored within the containers. In addition to the challenges faced by cargo ships, they also need to protect themselves from pirate attacks. Piracy remains a problem for the global shipping industry, with pirates often using small, fast vessels to catch up to cargo ships. 
Their tactics involve scaling the ship's sides and kidnapping the captain and crew. To defend against such attacks, most container ships are equipped with defense mechanisms. One common method is to create a water barrier around the ship using water hoses, which can be activated at the push of a button. If the pirates persist, some captains resort to using water guns to repel the attackers and knock them back into the water. In recent times, newer cargo ships have implemented an innovative anti-piracy measure known as the Anti-Piracy Curtain. Developed by Japanese engineers, this system consists of thin rubber hoses with heavy balls at the end. When activated, high-pressure water is sprayed through the hoses, effectively turning them into whips that make it nearly impossible for pirates to approach the ship. Due to the relatively small crews and container ships, they can be easily overpowered by a group of a few pirates. Even larger ships than the Mary Maersk may have crews of up to 35 people. But compared to other vessels, this is still relatively small and vulnerable to piracy threats. When it comes to container ships, their size is limited not by imagination, but by practical considerations. According to naval architect Christian Agdrup, who built the Maersk, these ships can be as large or as small as one can imagine. The real challenge lies in ensuring that these massive vessels can navigate through canals, fit into ports, and pass through narrow waterways. If a ship cannot maneuver in these restricted areas, its size becomes impractical, and it will be rendered useless. Although the concept of even larger ships is feasible, in reality the available facilities and waterway constraints impose limitations on their size. The Mary Maersk, as impressive as it is, is not the largest ship in the world. People have been continuously pushing the boundaries and making claims about building the largest ship, striving to surpass previous records. The race to build the biggest container ship is an ongoing endeavor, with new contenders attempting to claim the title of the world's largest ship. Number 1. MSC Irina Operated by MSC, this container ship is the largest in the world, boasting a length of 1,312 feet and a width of 201 feet. It has an astounding gross tonnage of 233,328 tons and can carry a maximum of 24,346 containers. Number 2. OOCL Spain Owned and operated by OOCL from Hong Kong, this ship measures 1,312 feet in length and 201 feet in width. It can accommodate up to 24,188 containers. Number 3. MSC Tessa Operated by the Swiss shipping company MSC, the MSC Tessa has the same dimensions as the previous two ships. It can be loaded with 24,116 containers. Number 4. Ever A Lot Also operated by Evergreen, this ship shares the same size as Everace, with a length of 1,312 feet and a width of 202 feet. It differs in gross tonnage and can carry 24,004 containers. Number 5. Everace Operated by Evergreen, this ship is 1,312 feet long, 202 feet wide, and can be loaded with a maximum capacity of 23,902 containers. These colossal vessels are at the forefront of global shipping, revolutionizing the movement of goods across the seas. Securing containers on cargo ships is a crucial requirement. Shipping companies can't just stack the containers haphazardly and hope for the best. Workers meticulously secure the containers using twist locks at the bottom, and then they tie them together with more twist locks. In cases where the locks may not be sufficient, the crew uses turnbuckles and rods to further secure the containers. Upon reaching its destination, the container ship cannot simply dock at any nearby port due to its size. The docking process is complex and begins with the assistance of a harbor pilot. The pilot boards the container ship from a much smaller vessel and guides it safely through the harbor. Tugboats are then called upon to assist in positioning the ship precisely, as turning a container ship requires ample space, and tugboats simplify this maneuver. Once in position, the ship is firmly secured to the dock using mooring lines. Giant cranes then load cargo into the available spaces between the containers, known as free columns. Within 48 hours, the ship completes its loading and unloading operations and departs the dock, continuing on its delivery mission. I hope you enjoyed this extraordinary adventure with us here on Superstructures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join us on our next thrilling exploration. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.